Hi there. <clears throat> Jeez, got a frog in my throat today. This is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com, and today we're going to be discussing the different types of tattoo shops in the Western world. All right, well, that's over. Different types of tattoo shops. Now, I'm not breaking these down by style. This is just going to be the general type of service or expectations that you can have and the types of tattooers that normally work in different types of shops. If you're a client or if you're somebody who's out there actually looking for employment, right? Um, and it's weird because this has been evolving, especially since I started tattooing in the um, very early uh, 2000s, because what we used to see was just a tattoo shop, right? It's not like that anymore. There's all of these different niche shops. You have people who only do one style at a shop. There's you know, a person who only tattoos peonies. Like that's it. That's all that you get from them. That's, that's not what I'm into here. That's, that's too focused. I'm not here to critique or give advice about how to find the best person for tattooing. What I'm trying to do is explain what to expect, what types of shops to expect different types of work from. So let's break this down. Number one, it's almost like the top 10 type thing here. Number one, we got a street shop. Okay, the street shops, this is something that we used to see quite a bit in the, you know, back, going straight back through time. Street shops are unique. They are usually your catch-all shop, right? They'll do anything, do anything. <laughs> Jesus. Do anything, uh, anytime. So a street shop is usually gonna have um, usually a couple artists. Sometimes it can be pretty busy up to like 10, 12, maybe full-time artists that are working into it. And when you walk into a street shop, it doesn't matter what you want, you can get it. If you wanna do flash, if you want custom artwork, you can do whatever. On average, street shops are not gonna be that super high-end quality of work. This is usually gonna be more like your touristy type space where you're gonna go and get simple stuff. You're gonna find tattooers who, on average, are gonna have five years or less on average, five years or less um, experience. Um, I mean, you may get some street shops. I've been to a handful in my travels that the people who are there have like 20 years experience each. It's wild. But they still have 20 years experience doing street shop type stuff, right? Things that you can master in about three to five years. They are your journey person, like mid-level, just solid people. That's the places where you go if you know exactly what you want and you just maybe need a little bit of help with the interpretation. You're not looking for a big, drawn-out, in-depth process. That's a street shop. That's where you go. Um, number two. Let's do this flash shop. So some people have been like, those are the same thing. No, they're not. Okay, street shops will do anything, anytime. Flash shops, right? We'll break this down. No custom. Wow. Okay, none, <laughs> that sees jacked. There's no custom work that's come out of a flash shop. A flash shop when you walk in looks a lot like a street shop, but the walls will be adorned with this pre-made tattoo design, you know, plastic, flippable, foldable books out there. That's it. You go in, you pick something, and they do it. Flash shops are becoming increasingly rare in the United States, in Canada, the Western world. It, it's kind of this weird niche thing where everyone is trying to be an artist now, and it's not really focused on so much street shop, flash shop, just being a really good technical tattooer. Um, I have met some flash artists that were absolutely horrible, like painters, illustrators, drawers. I mean, oh wow. But they could take a design that was pre-made and replicate it to a to an absolute, to absolute perfection. I mean, mind boggling some of the stuff that they're able to do. Uh, like 3D computer renders of like really complex Japanese designs. If you're a tattooer, you've probably seen the book that I'm hinting at. I'm not gonna use its name, but it's like, what? <laughs> That's the flash shop people. These ones are gonna be just, this is your, this is your trades person. They are not focused on giving a custom experience. They're here just to tattoo. Um, if you find some like these, they're usually the cheapest you can go into because they're not going to be charging you a bunch of time for artwork or for, you know, consultations. They just come and pick it and get out. Another big thing in touristy areas, uh, bigger cities, you don't see flash shops too much in small towns anymore. Um, all right, so we've got next one is your custom shop. 
Um, custom shops are usually that step up from these two. I mean, I should probably be ranking these as well, but we don't need to do that. Um, Cause all tattoo shops are basically the same. We're just putting ink in skin, right? No one's better than anyone else. Um, custom shops will not do flash on average. I mean, realistically custom shops are basically like street shops. They're gonna be maybe a little bit more cleaner, maybe a little bit more attentive. They're gonna spend more time with you working on your tattoo than these two. This is the least amount of in input that you're gonna get. You walk in, get it, get out, right? Street shops will maybe do a couple things to modify designs for you. Maybe they'll draw up something quick, but nothing is gonna be prepped two to three weeks in advance. Custom shops normally will. They're you know, booked out for three, four months at a time. Um, and they will take, on average, designs that are already existing and kind of cobble them together to make something that's unique and personal for you. Um, they're willing to work with you more, in my experience, than these other shops. Um, they also cost more. So, you know, a bit different. Um, next step up from that is gonna be full custom. Full custom shop. Full customs will create artwork individually for each person who walks in, period. I mean, they may be taking a lot of this off of Google and tracing it on their tablet, but they're not gonna be taking any input from you apart from what your idea is. If you give them a design off of Pinterest, full custom shops won't do it. Custom shops may, street shops, flash shops, totally will. Flash shops actually may not sometimes. I mean, if it doesn't have good line work that's coming with it, because I've met some dudes at flash shops that don't know how to draw at all, they may not do it at all, which is amazing. Um, so, you know, a lot of similarities between those two in one way or not. Uh, full custom shops are gonna be the most expensive so far. On average, they're gonna be smaller, more intimate spaces. Yeah, usually anywhere between like two, one, two, maybe no more than five people working in the shop. Um, I have seen maybe a couple of full custom shops that had more than four, five artists in them, but it's pretty rare. Uh, those would be big cities, you know, like LA, Toronto, um, Chicago, New York, you know, like, like big urban areas like DFW. Um, you'll see some full custom shops. Uh, the last one that I believe we need to do with this one is, as above them, this is the high-end shop. So a high-end shop, this is where you see those fancy people on Instagram, uh, or even the lowbrow people that maybe no one knows about. You know, you have to travel in the middle of Switzerland and go, you know, grow potatoes for two weeks before you can get a tattoo. That's a high-end shop. Uh, high-end shops are probably the most likely to work with you through the entire process. High-end shops are gonna be more into educating. They're gonna be more into really trying to define your idea empathetically than trying to pull something that has already been created and maybe modified a little bit. Um, it's not just not full custom shops. I mean, like, you know, it can happen there as well, but it's not gonna be their focus, right? High-end shops are always just going to be, it's about you. You're going to pay for that you time, of course. Um, and it usually is going to take you forever to get in, get out the costs of, you know, uh, if we do a, a sleeve at a flash shop and a sleeve at a, a high-end shop, you add a zero or two zeros to the back of any number that they quote you at this for whatever the tattoo is going to be back here. $50 minimum here, you're going to be spending about 500 there right? That's just how it is. Um, so yeah, that's it. If you're, if you're out there looking for stuff, if you're trying to find, you know, a tattoo to do, think about that. Like, is it something you just want to smash in? Maybe pick out something you already know what you want. You just want it done. Not a lot of questions, a little bit more control over your body and the autonomy of the design. Uh, flash shop, street shops are just going to be great, right? If you're wanting something a little bit more tailored to you where you can maybe build a little bit more of a relationship with the person you're working with, the custom and full custom shops are a great option for you. And if you're just wanting that experience of the tattoo and killer artwork, high end is the way to go. This is Ryan from Better Tattooing signing off because I'm done with that.